Since October 7th, the Biden administration has resorted to the use of military force in a number of new and renewed armed conflicts in the Middle East in response to the regional fallout of the Gaza war. And it has done so without obtaining fresh congressional authorization. So, for example, U.S. forces have come under renewed attack in Iraq and Syria at the beginning in October. And between October and February, um, U.S. forces in Iran-backed groups uh, regularly exchanged fire. In addition, um, the U.S. Navy began in October intercepting missiles and drones launched by the Houthis at Israel. Um, and when the Houthis uh, eventually realized they were unable to strike Israel directly, they shifted to attacking commercial shipping in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. And the U.S. Navy then um, took the role of trying to parry those uh, Houthi attacks on shipping. And eventually in January, it began striking uh, Houthi targets in, in Yemen itself and, and continues to do so. All of these actions undertaken by the Biden administration have been without fresh authorization of Congress. The Biden administration has resorted to creative lawyering in order to justify these unilateral uses of U.S. military force. And in doing so, it has avoided the more thorough debates over the wisdom of its Middle East policies and the effectiveness of the use of military force. In terms of recommendations, our new report argues first and foremost, the Biden administration needs to double down on its efforts to bring about a ceasefire in Gaza that would calm um, hostilities throughout the region. Um, and it may need to resort to using leverage, including its abundant um, military support to Israel uh, to bring such a ceasefire about, to bring an end to the fight. Over the longer term, however, the U.S. Congress uh, needs to undertake the long overdue project of structural reform of the legal framework governing the use of force um, by the White House. And it needs to update the 1973 War Powers Resolution, being by supplying uh, definitions for key terms, hostilities, or and the introduction of U.S. armed forces into hostilities to eliminate the sorts of loopholes that the White House has used since October 7th um, to use military force without congressional authorization.